birthday, I love to have like a little music just to have a party and have a good time. In addition, I just want to sit back and relax and enjoy my moves for whatever music it is. So for my birthday, I got the pleasure of having some relaxing music. He performed at the Wild Cafe Theater in the Lower East Side of Manhattan in New York. He is part of the Mystic Ethno Jazz Eth Electronic New York Music. I'm losing my breath here. <laughs> <laughs> But it's called God's Unruly Friends. Oh my. But the unveiling. God's Unruly Friends, the unveiling. I want to know how that works. So, so without further ado, please welcome musician Daoud Kringo here. Yeah. Yes. It's so great having you here. Yes. Oh, it's good to be here. Welcome. Thank you for having me. You're, You're welcome. welcome. You're very welcome. Oh. I'm just curious, where did you get the name God's Unruly Friends from? Well. I'm, a, I, I'm a, a, a Muslim uh, and a Sufi, and I, uh, mm -hmm. um, there's a book that uh, came out some many years ago about uh, a group of really uh, crazy Islamic mystics, Sufis, and it's called God's Unruly Friends because uh, Sufis, uh -huh. uh, Sufi poetry tends to speak of, of Allah, God, as, as the friend or the lover. And uh, these guys, you know, they, they kind of took things a little too far. And not that I do that, but uh, I thought it was a kind of a cool <laughs> thing. And uh, it kind of it worked. So um, I, uh, I went with it. Wow. Wow. What really inspired you to become a musician? Well, the first music I ever remember hearing in my life was the, the, the scherzo from Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Mm. Uh, you know, most people have just heard children's nursery rhymes and uh, yeah. stuff like that, but I, I remember Beethoven, and um, I still get chills listening to Beethoven's music, and I, uh, uh, when I was around nine years old, I, uh, when everybody else was listening to the monkeys and the Partridge family, I started mm. listening to, <laughs> to the Beatles and Jimi Hendrix, right. and right. later on I got, uh, I bought, I got a guitar on my 10th birthday, I started later on uh, listening to and studying jazz, classical music, and yes. Indian raga. Right. I've been yes. playing sitar since I was 18, and wow. um, mm -hmm. I picked up the Dil Ruba, which I uh, right. brought with me today. And that's oh. the Dil Ruba right there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Is, uh, wow, that's it's nice. A it's a, it's it's a, a long way from Jimi Hendrix, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. And um, it's, uh, it's from India, and it's, uh, uh, the history goes back about 250 years, and the wow. name wow. Uh, means uh, the uh, the enchanter of the heart, mm -hmm. and uh, even though I've uh, studied some, you know, some of the classical stuff, you know, my background uh, inspires me to take things outside mm -hmm. of the classical mm -hmm. realm mm -hmm. and yes. uh, uh, add elements of jazz, you know, right. rock, wow. electronic yes. music, and whatever else I can get away with. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I, just, I just want to talk about. There's a second set of strings. Uh, beneath the first set, so that's yes, pretty cool. To me. Yes, this is something that's common in Indian instruments. That these strings, yeah, uh, they're called tarb, and what they do is that they resonate on their own. Uh, they, the, it's. Oh. You hear that? You know, I want to hear. I want to hear this music yeah. right away. Okay, <laughs> so without further ado, but why don't you tell us what you're going to be performing? This first. is a piece uh, that one of the one of the long term composition things that I have is a 21. Uh, piece uh, uh, cycle called the Harmelodic Raga cycle, where I mixed Indian mm. Raga with elements of Harmelodic Jazz. Wow! And uh, this one is a piece uh, from the Harmelodic Raga cycle. It's called Adulterous Moon. Well, let's hear oh. it. So, without wow. yeah, without further ado, here is uh, which camera am I on? Oh, yeah. without <laughs> without <laughs> further ado, <laughs> reforming. Uh, whatever it is, I can't remember what it was. But <laughs> give it up for moon. Adulterous Moon. Give it up for Dawood's Kringle! <laughs> Thank you. 
goodness gracious. Oh. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Now that's, uh, now, that's more relaxing for me for my, for my birthday right there, you know? <laughs> I'll oh, tell you okay, what, yeah. I'm just going to stand right here. <laughs> oh, okay, good, good, good. That was so amazing. I really, really? felt it in my soul. Wow, mm, so thank amazing. You so much. Mysterious, so, yeah. Where can we find your music at? Okay, my uh, website, there's also the name of uh, my uh, ensemble, uh, godsunrulyfriends.com. Okay. And pretty much uh, links to, to everything can, uh, can be found there. You, right. There's uh, links to uh, Bandcamp. I'm setting up. Uh, uh, links to my uh, YouTube channel, mm. and uh, in fact, I'm starting a vlog. I'm going to be actually uh, putting little bits and pieces of the right. preparation for this, and links to uh, to uh, your program. <laughs> and, uh, well, it's our program, yeah. you know. Yeah, actually. I understand. No, you know, you know, just a link there. I'm not right. going to plagiarize any <laughs> right. copyrighted material or anything. Okay. Like that. Yeah. That. But uh, no, I do. I do want to give you a shout out on, yes. uh, on yes. my own social media. That's mm -hmm. And. Um, I, uh, uh, you know, you can you can also reach me at uh, godsunrulyfriends at gmail dot com, okay. and um, you know just uh, you know check out the music for yourself. Uh, uh, Guf, the, my my ensemble has a CD out, uh, and uh, uh, we're working on a new CD, and uh, mm -hmm. I've got uh, another um, I don't even remember seven or eight CDs out as a. Uh, solo artist. So wow. this, this, could be a, this could be wow. a time life collection right, right. there. Yeah. <laughs> God's amazing. That's so amazing. 